Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. I bet you can already guess what I'm about to say. I bet you can already guess. I am so excited for today's video as you can already tell because I'm sure you read the title. I'm going to be reviewing Jaclyn Hill and Morphe's Palette Volume 2. That is what it's called on this thing. I don't know. It says Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. Morphe this is what this looks like. This is what I'm using today to create this makeup look. You're going to get down and dirty with this palette and I'm gonna give you all there is to know about it. And in case you're already wondering, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, it's really amazing. So if you just came here to find out if I like it or not and if I think it's worth you buying, you can click out because A++, absolutely love it. It is a dream. However, if you're interested in creating this eye makeup look, I actually took one of Jaclyn Hill's campaign photos. I'm pretty sure Lipstick Nick did her makeup for the campaign shoot for this palette. So I don't know, I, Lipstick Nick, Jaclyn Hill, whoever's makeup look, I'm recreating it. I will put the screenshots that I took from her promo video up on the screen. This was my inspiration for today's look. If you think, you know, I did a decent job, you wanna see how I did it, then you, my friend, can just go ahead and keep on watching. We are about to get into it. However, I just wanted to mention, I've been a longtime fan of her Volume 1 palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette Volume 1 that came out a few years ago now at this point. I love this, a lot of neutrals. This is a lot more of a neutral palette. However, you can really jazz it up with some of the shades down here, but this is the OG palette. And then this is her volume two palette. I thought it was just interesting to hold the two of them up to show you guys how they compare. This is a lot more vibrant. So I feel like the volume two is like volume one, but like on steroids, you know what I'm saying? And I can't wait for you guys to see how I created this look. So before we get into it, just, you know, I have to do this. I have to remind you guys, if you're not yet subscribed, Go ahead, click subscribe. But also, just to be real, I feel like when I watch YouTube channels, I have to watch a few videos of someone's before I subscribe to their channel. So if this is your first video with me, welcome. Hi, how are you? I hope that you enjoy this video, but make sure that you check out some of my other videos, get a good feel for me, but I can guarantee you we're gonna have a good time. Be sure to click that bell button next to subscribe. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I'm uploading twice a week. I'm pretty sure my upload days are Wednesday and Sunday, and I say pretty sure because sometimes they change, but if you click the bell button, it will take all the guessing out for you and it will simply send you a little notification whenever a new video goes live here on my channel. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette review. I'm just gonna say it. This was my least favorite makeup look from her campaign. Her campaign was bomb. I get that this is like typical Jaclyn. Smoked out, lower lash line, super blown out eye. Super cute message. I feel for her, I don't know. I feel for everyone. We're all human, I don't really know. And here it is. Looks just like the other one. Has a nice glossy finish to the palette, which I like because this will be really easy to clean. So if you're interested in this palette, you really like a purple or a pink. I do have my brows on to do my brows. I filled them in using the Glossier Brow Flick, and then I did an extensive amount of skincare, and I used my Clarisonic just to like firm my face. Um, and I will list everything that is on my face right now and everything that I use in this video down below. So if you're interested in the skincare and what it is I have on my skin already, it's down there along with everything else that I'm going to use in this video. To prep my lids today, I just used some concealer. I used my Tarte Tape Shape and my fingers and I just patted it out like that. And now I wanna go ahead and set it. And to set it today, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Certified and I'm just gonna pat this all along the lid. I'm gonna go in with a flat fluffy brush. This way I can really concentrate the crease shade. Perfectionist. And there's a lot of dust in this pan, so I'm gonna definitely be sure to tap it off. And I'm just gonna put that into the crease, starting in the outer corner. Last night, Mike and I were making dinner and like I had such a week that I couldn't even function. Like he was asking me to do things. It took me 20 minutes to make him an old fashioned because I was just so scatterbrained. And as I was talking, I was making no sense. Like, you know, like when your brain's just fried, you know when you had like a week at work and you just like need a moment. I really needed a moment and I'm hoping today my speech will come back. Like 
uh, I'm not kidding you. Like I could not talk last night. It was wild. I was like so tired and stressed out. Clean fluffy brush and just really blown this out. That is one shade perfectionist into the crease. I just want to show you guys this shadow really quick. Can you see how much fallout is in the pan? Now that doesn't bother me, but I know that that bothers some people. So I did just want to point that out in case you're one of those people, you know? And it's really pretty, it's pigmented, but you can really blend it to thin it out and really get it to the color and intensity that you want or less intensity, I should say. Hello. Let's go Yankees. Why, what are they doing? Let's go Yankees. Are they playing or something? Spring. This is what I'm doing. Do you think I can do this? Spring training, baby. You're not in it. It's back. Do you think I can do this? I think you can do anything. I don't know. We shall see. Wait, you've been up here forever? I self-tanned. I showered. Oh, I, say, I shaved my whole body. I self-tanned. Oh. What's that? Bruises. Where the fuck do you get bruises from? I don't know. I forgot to turn the sound on, but I went in with the shade Therapy Sash. Same flat fluffy brush, and I'm just dotting this like dabbing this into the crease and i'm kind of putting it a little lower than that perfectionist shade and i'm kind of just like stamping this into the hollow of my eye can you see what i'm doing going back in with that clean blending brush and just blending 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 and since we're doing the eyes first you can really blend everywhere blend outside of the lines if you guys watched my eye tips this has been a trick that I have been doing since I uploaded that video. So really just blending like a lunatic. So that is one eye blended out. You can see it blends out really nicely, but it does fade. So if you're in a step of your shadow where you really want that pigment to stay, I would blend it out a lot less than what I'm blending out right now. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush right here. This is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH40. And I'm gonna go into the shade, not my journey, and I'm gonna concentrate that as much as I can into the crease. And then we're gonna cut the crease after this. So don't worry if it's not perfect and don't worry if you blend a little bit too much onto the lid. And in this photo, she has kind of a harsh line of this dark purple. So I'm gonna keep it really tight into the crease and I am just building this up. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more on that brush and I'm gonna put it in the outer corner of the eye and I'm gonna start building up that outer third and just deepening it. And I'm not tapping off the excess just because I want this to be really pigmented Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my clean fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna touch really, really lightly because I do really want this purple to be really dark and I want it to be mainly in the crease. Using that same brush, I'm gonna take good place and I'm gonna poke that or dab that onto the outer third just to deepen that up a little bit. And I'm kind of like brushing it towards the center of the lid. Okay, and while we're there, let's go ahead and let's hop into the black called Temptress. And take it on that same brush and I'm gonna put that on the very outer third to really deepen out that grease. And I'm just tapping. It's a really nice black. Wow. Okay, Jacqueline, I see you. Kind of running it and buffing it. Clean blending brush one more time and I'm gonna run it into the crease and just blend all this out one more time. And then now I think it's time to go ahead and cut the crease. I'm a little nervous. I don't normally do cut creases here on my channel. I don't normally do cut creases, period. But let's go ahead and let's try it. So I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Tape shape. I'm gonna take some on the back of my hand. All right, I'm gonna start in the inner corner. And I'm gonna try and keep some of that purple there. 
so I'm not gonna bring it up too high. I'm essentially following the crease of my eye. I'm following the lid of my eye. Okay, I feel like we can do this. I'm gonna stop it right where my pupil ends. Feeling myself this orange shade. I'm gonna take a small flat brush and I'm putting this over the cut crease. Wow. That's a really pretty orange. Okay, I'm gonna leave this stripe right here and we're gonna put another shade there. So I'm gonna leave that stripe, but I'm gonna just pack on the orange a little bit more. And now I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna take some of the shade My Man. I'm gonna place that right at the edge of where that orange is. Let's grab a flat little brush like this and I'm gonna take the shade I'm in it and I'm gonna put it right over where that sliver is that we left. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that and I'm gonna take it with my finger. I kinda just want to marry this together a little bit more. Okay, we're getting the vibe. We're getting, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shape my eye using a makeup remover wipe, wrap it around my finger. And I'm just gonna try and shape this a little bit more like Jacqueline's. Hers is like that, cat eye. Should I say? I'm in it. I'm gonna pounce that like that. I kinda wanna take Ride or Diamonds. And I don't, I feel like this isn't what she used, but I'm gonna put that over the center. I kinda wanna blend this, these stripies out a little bit more and give a little brightness to the lid. I just feel like we need like a pop of something. That is so pretty. This has been my favorite liner since I got it. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Black. As you can see, I went ahead and I finished off the rest of my face. I did try and mimic a similar lip shade to her, so if you like this lip combo and you think it's a really nice match, you can find it down below. I just wanna say that these were the easiest lashes to put on ever. Violet Voss lashes wisp it real good. So I want to go ahead and I want to finish off the eyes along with you guys. We need to smoke out that lower lash line because what's an eye without a smoked lower lash line? Not only for myself but for Jaclyn Hill as well. Like she is the queen of a dramatic smoked out lash line. I feel like she has said in the past that she likes a good like Uncle Fester under eye and I live for that as well. So I'm gonna hop into the shade Feeling Myself. And since I have the rest of my face on now, I am gonna go ahead and tap off the excess just so I don't get a lot of fallout underneath. And Jacqueline's whole like inner corner is orange. And follow my inner corner, just like that. Same thing on the other side. And I'm not bringing it all underneath, I'm just putting it right in that inner corner and blending it with this brush. Hopping into Perfectionist all underneath the eye. And I think I'm gonna bring it down a little lower than I typically do today, just in honor of Jacqueline and this being her palette and the fact that she is the queen of a dramatic smoked under eye. I love how this pulls the whole look together. Really, I really, really do. Not so clean anymore blending brush that we've been using. I'm just gonna blend this out. Therapy sesh pencil brush and I'm gonna keep that really close to the lash line. I'm just starting this where that orange ends and I'm just bringing it up and connecting it to the top. See what I did there? Blending brush, blend that out. Not my journey. So I'm taking that same pencil brush and I'm stamping. See how that just creates like even more depth under the eye in comparison to this one. So same thing, not my journey, stamping the shade. Blending that out. With the same pencil brush, we are being very low maintenance today. I'm gonna take Temptress dot this between the lashes. So I'm making, I'm putting this even closer to the lash line. And then I'm gonna connect this to the wing. Cause I feel like that makes it look more done. 
and then see even more depth on this eye than this one by adding that black. So we are just layering up the under eye like we layered up that crease and the outer third and just blending this out. Therapy sesh on that little brush that we used before, the JH40. And I'm just going to smoke out the lash line a little bit more just because I feel like we need it, you know? Jacqueline would approve of us smoking out the lower lash line a little bit more. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just going all the way under, blending a brush one more time. The Stila Kajal liners. I really, really love them. And this is in the shade Espresso. And I'm gonna put it on the top waterline as well. Did I say lash line before? I feel like I always mess that up. I'm putting this on my waterline, the bottom waterline. And I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner just because I like that. I'm not, does Jacqueline? I'm not sure if she has it, but I like it for my eyes. Let's go into my man and I'm gonna put that underneath. Yes, I feel like that is what we needed. Just a little bit of that. And then just because I would like a little bit of an inner corner highlight, I don't, it doesn't look like she's wearing any, which I feel like is very unlike Jacqueline, but pencil brush, I'm gonna go into I'm in it and I'm just gonna put this right there just to like brighten that inner corner up a little bit. So for mascara today, I'm just gonna use something really easy, a mascara that I really like. This is an LA Colors mascara. I'm not sure which one this is. Um, I will try and find it and link it down below. It just says LA Colors on it. I got it in a bundle and it's really nice and I feel like it'll go well with these lashes because it's a small brush and I can really get in there just to marry my lashes and the falsies together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom. And then I'm gonna kind of group them into sections like I like to do. And now let's do something crazy. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and we're gonna use one of the eyeshadows for highlighter. I think we're gonna use I'm In It because I feel like that's what she's wearing all over her face in this picture. So let's go ahead and let's try it. I'm gonna take my Morphing Continuous Setting Spray. I'm gonna set my face, a little highlighting brush. I'm gonna hop into I'm In It. I'm gonna pat this over the highest points of my cheeks. Oh my God. I mean, that is freaking fun. She's definitely wearing this in this photo. <laughs> Guys, I love how this looks. This is the finished makeup look. I have to say, I'm shocked that this came out as good as it did. I mean, I had a few moments there where I was like, internally. I was like, am I gonna be able to get this to look like Jaclyn? And I feel like it doesn't look exact. I mean, Jaclyn Hill's makeup is clearly a hundred times better than mine. I'm pretty sure Lipstick Nick did her makeup for this campaign and Lipstick Nick is like a bomb ass talented makeup artist and I, I stan, I stan. But I'm no Lipstick Nick. I'm not gonna pretend that I am, but I have to say I'm really happy with how this came out. I impressed myself and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this as well. If you guys recreate it, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I will leave my handle here. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this look? Leave any questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is, video requests down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys, but I do wanna give you guys like a quick little rundown on what I think about this palette. I highly recommend this. I think that the pigments are definitely there. I think it can pack a punch when you want it to. I think you can dial back the shades when you want to as well. Just blend them out. If you want them to be a little bit more pigmented, I recommend you do your eyes first. Don't tap off the excess and just pack on the shades and then blend them out very, very lightly. Again, if you go in a little too heavy handed, you guys were able to see that the more you blend, the more the shades fade. So this is very user friendly. I highly recommend this. I think all of the shades that I use today are really, really nice. I cannot wait to continue to use this palette more. I definitely want to recreate 
date the other two looks that she had for her campaign. If that is something that you're interested in, then be sure to let me know that you want to see that down below or maybe just give this video a thumbs up. This way I know that you liked it. There's a lot of kickback. You can see up here, there's all shadow. When I received the shadow, there was shadow in it. Like it's just these shadows kick around in the pan. However, even though I did my eyes first, there was not a lot of fallout on my face, honestly. Even the shades that I went in with, especially the purples, when I wanted them to pack a little bit more pigment and I didn't tap off the excess, it didn't really fall on my face. There was not much fallout. I, I have to say, I really love this. I think Jacqueline did a beautiful job. No shade, she should just stick to whatever formula this is and just keep it rocking because this is as amazing as her first palette and I was such a fan of her volume one. I hope she comes out with a volume three, four, five, six. I will continue to buy them. I love them so, so much. And I think this is really great if you're a makeup artist. I think this is a beautiful addition to your kit. I think this is a beautiful addition to her volume one. I cannot say enough good things. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you buy it. Let me know if I convinced you to buy it or convinced you not to buy it. Anything you guys wanna talk about down below leave it there. I absolutely love this highlight shade. Oh my God. Oh my God. So fun. Absolutely love it. And I feel like every time I create a purple eye look now, I'm going to have to wear this purple highlight on my face. I feel like it's just a given. I absolutely love this huge A plus from me. Love it. It's affordable. Keep it up. Keep it up. And Jacqueline, stay on this trend because this is really great. And I hope that 2020 brings you nothing but great products like this continuously. Not that Jacqueline will ever watch this video, but in case she ever did, this is amazing. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for coming out with a volume two. So again, really quick, if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe, click the bell. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.